Okay, so how we stop and start the Apache web server. So the way we do this is by using command line. And I had to go and rummage around to actually find uh, exactly how this was done. Because it's not very straightforward. There's a lot of instructions about how to start it, but not how to actually stop it. So we have Apache web server running at the moment, and we can see it in the, the graphical user interface here, like this. And you see, if it's fine, it refreshes, and everything looks good. You can see it here in the background, and here, see it here in the foreground. So the thing is, I've updated these instructions, so now the most reliable way that I've been able to find so far to stop it is to open out another window. Obviously, you have all of the environments set so that you're in the Condor environment and you're in the folder and to just list out the things that are running out of uh, in TCP 8080 and then kill the ID. So we get this instruction here from the notes that are going to be at the bottom of the video and then you see that the, the ID at the very top is the usually one the one usually the one that I go for first 7752 and then kill that and then let's see what effect that has had shutting down the master and so that looks like it's done the trick let's just see here absolutely great so that's how you stop it and then you can go and see what else is running now by running the list of TCP 8080 and nothing is there then if I go back to here and I come out of this kill this and then start Apache web server again and then you can see it's come back quite normally in the back end and then in the front end I'll refresh this and you can see that it's all come back again so that's how you stop and start and then restart again if you want to the Apache Airflow web server that's it for this video